Welcome to Fit After 50. Today we will look at 10 best running shoes to prevent injuries. The Brooks Adrenaline GTS 21 remains one of the best stability running shoes on the road today. Brooks created the stability using guide rails technology. Rather than using a traditional medial post, the holistic support system uses bumper-like rails to shift the focus to your knees and keep excess motion in check as you run. This shoe has a DNA loft foam from the heel all the way through the forefoot to create a softer ride and smoother transition. Engineered mesh on the upper offers a comfortable, breathable and secure fit. The Brooks Adrenaline GTS 21 maintains its stable ride with a softer than ever feel. Brooks Ravenna 11 This shoe is in the Energize category as a cushioned supportive road running shoe for long distances that offers you enough spring and flexibility for fast energized running. Lighter and more flexible than many equivalent support shoes, the Ravenna offers good support for the arch. Sketches Go Run Pure Olympic medalist Meb Kiplezigi, first place finisher at the Boston and New York Marathons, has his very own pair called the Go Mebs. But you can get the Go Run Pure to use as an affordable everyday trainer. The softer soft cushioning provided by EVA based Ultra Go foam in the midsole is surprisingly lightweight at 8.3 ounces. A breathable, nearly seamless engineered mesh upper balances out the protection of this shoe. Here is the Puma Hybrid NX. It combines two of the company's best midsole foam technologies which is lightweight, responsive, ignite foam and supportive shock absorbing NRGY beads for a shoe that optimizes comfort without slowing you down. Yes, the beads adapt to your unique foot strike which is helpful in the heel area. The sleek sock like semi knitted upper looks like something you'd find in a much pricier shoe. Adidas Solar Ride. The Adidas Solar Ride was created as one of the springiest cushioning systems in the game with the Boost Foam technology. But these shoes are not as expensive as you might assume. For those who still want energy, return, and foot support but don't want to break the bank, the Solar Ride features the flexible bounce midsole cushioning. A durable anywhere wear outer sole and a strong yet flexible mesh upper for a shoe that fits perfectly and it's capable of going the distance day after day. Here we have Reebok Forever Float Ride Energy. You'll find the same Float Ride Energy foam midsole in the Forever Float Ride Energy sneaker, a more expensive version. The upper isn't quite as sleek, but it's still lightweight and comfortable, with responsive cushioning that guides neutral foot motion, offers a solid traction, and the undersole as well. Here we have Under Armour Hover Sonic 2. If, like if you like data, then you can try the Under Armour Hover Sonic 2. The insole comes with a built-in Bluetooth sensor to sync with UA's Map My Run mobile app to track running stats like distance, speed, cadence, and stride length. This sneaker is a versatile trainer that uses the brand's hover foam wrapped in a comprehensive mesh web for seriously lightweight cushioning that maximizes energy return for everything from track workouts to long distance runs. Here we have Brooks Launch 6. I love the Brooks. At the moment I have the Ravenna 7, an older version, and still can't find a replacement. So today we look at the Brooks Launch 6. It is hard pressed to find something that you don't love about the Brooks Launch 6, a lightweight neutral trainer. 
Its DNA myths or cushioning is the same kind you find in the uber popular ghost series for a comfortable ride that still feels light and springy. The midfoot transition zone also helps your foot move from heel to toe as quickly as possible. Here we have the ASIC Gel Venture 7, which uses the same gel technology you'll find in pricier designs like the classic gel Kano 26 or the brand new Glide Ride. The gel, in conjunction with an EVA midsole, absorbs shock at your heels and reduces impact on the toe off, while a sturdy upper keeps your foot where it's supposed to be for an efficient stride. And even though it's built at a tough trail shoe, the Venture works as well as any other as a road running shoe. So, what do you think? True or false? Yes or no? Which of these sneakers do you prefer? Or are there others you would like me to review? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.